Ulster champions Donny Gold made two late changes coming into the starting 15 are Eamon McGee and Martin McElhenney in place of Declan Walsh and his namesake David on a day when Paddy McFrearty celebrates his 19th birthday and is already the proud possessor of two Ulster medals. It's an auspicious day also for Kerry's Paul Galvin. He's playing in his 50th championship match, which pales somewhat alongside record holder Tomas O'Shea, about to start his 83rd. The top scorer, of course, for Kerry is Colum Cooper, with one goal and 21 points. McIlhenny, in as far as Leo McLoon, got the opening goal in the Ulster final, just about manages to retain some kind of control over that one. Murphy's come very far out into McFadden, looking for the opening score of the match here, and he strikes it over the bar with just under two minutes gone. Big Colin McFadden, who's Donegal's leading scorer in this year's championship. Kerry back on the attack. Declan O'Sullivan, who can be a most influential figure. Galvin here, in as far as Anthony Marr, dodges away from the challenge. Donica Walsh now sending it across here to Kieran Donaghy. Switch of positions for him, gets by McGee. Donica Walsh thought the angle was a bit tight. Back to Cooper, he had a better shot at it. And Kerry draw level thanks to the captain, Colm Cooper. Right into the corner here for McFadden to go after. Mark O'Shea's his marker. Up against a very tall player in McFadden. Almost worked out, but not quite. But it's Donegal who will have the line ball. So far a good cohesive performance by Donegal as that ball's in and Murphy misses, but the ball's in the back of the net. From McFadden's line ball. Not sure if anybody actually got a touch. Michael Murphy, the centre of attention. Six minutes are gone. And that ball seemed to go all the way in. Don't think it ever touched him. McFadden once more. Frank McGlynn. McElhenney now. Really good spell this for Danny Gaul, and they were unlucky as that one came off the post. Comes back down to Leo McLoon. Back towards Rory Cavada. Hitting it is Michael Murphy, and Murphy sends it over the bar. Well, this is a blitzkrieg start to the match by the Ulster champions. Declan O'Sullivan now. Two number 11s tangling. And well, that's going to be a free kick for Kerry and Declan O'Sullivan set to take it. Fed back to O'Sullivan. This is a player who can give great leadership, he's got terrific talent and he underlines that with his first point of the match here. Work the free kick very, very cleverly. James O'Donoghue playing it across here to Anthony Marr. Neatly finding Donegal Walsh. The marking's very loose by Danny Gold. There have a lot of players back there, but they're not doing an awful lot of marking. And that is a brilliant point put over by corner forward James O'Donoghue. Waiting for it here, ready to pick it up, is Paddy McBrearty. Well, he's misplaced the pass because it's that eager beaver, Mark O'Shea, who comes out with it. And Kerry now get their passing game in a muddle. And Leo McLoon plays it out to Carol Lacey. In for McFadden, but he's got to do it on his own here. And he drills it over the bar. Goal and uh, two points now, possibly for Colin McFadden, if he's the one who gets the credit for the goal that Dunny Gold scored after six minutes. Kerry behind. Beginning of three minutes of injury time. Cooper. In as far as Donaghy, back to Cooper, and the hand passes over the bar. Two points in this first half for Colm Cooper. Kerry fans dreaming about a goal. Anthony Marr kicking. 
And Anthony Marr has measured it beautifully and put it over the bar. Second minute of the second half. So now the margin's down to one. A great kick in front of a crowd of 56,191. Donegal player on the ground, the referee allowed an advantage to Leo McLoon and to Donegal and to Paddy McBrearty if it works out for them. Back in towards McLoon, got two goals in the championship so far and he's put this one over the bar. Great point by Leo McLoon, good advantage allowed by referee Marty Duffy from Sligo. Here's Rory Cavada. Slipped inside here, Carol Lacey reaches out for it, runs into challenges, wriggles this way and that, like a fish in the water, he still manages to stay, stay with it. Back in as far as McFadden, and McFadden kicks it over the bar. One of the points of the game so far, a brilliant score for Danny Gall. McBrearty wanted it, Lacey gets it. Tracking back is Brian Maguire, but it's with Paddy McBrearty again, steps away from trouble, boots it with his left, and in there to challenge and to put it over the bar is Colin McFadden. He was in the square, but he's allowed to be so from the new ruling. Christy Toy comes on, and Leo McLoon is the one who's made way. One nine to eight points. Donegal by four. And Donegal win the kick out, and it's Rory Cavana. Neatly on here. Christy Toy. Over the bar. What an immediate impact. And the Donegal fans around Grove Park are absolutely deliriously happy with this. Shane Enright cutting through, and there's a fair bit of cutting to do. Out for it came Paddy Curtin. This one is lobbed in, and Donaghy has notched a goal late in the game, and there's still hope for Kerry. And that fan and many more will feel a miracle might yet be on. We're in the 66th minute. It was fed invitingly in here for Donaghy to get a final touch to it. Good ball over. Nicely done. Johnny Buckley. In for Anthony Marr. Has a go. Finds the target and puts it over. It's a one-point game. It's 111 to 110 where Danny Gall were ahead by six, only a matter of about five minutes ago. Ninety seconds, Galvin, Kerry still, a point behind. In it goes, Curtin kicks, and he puts it wide. But there's still time, tenth wide now for Kerry, a miss by Paddy Curtin. Marr reaches, can't take it. Instead, it's Rory Kavanagh. On as far as Carol Lacey. And Lacey can seal it here and probably has. Carol Lacey, the 27 year old from the Four Masters, in his 40th championship match, has put it over the bar. And the referee still allows a few seconds. Galvin has it. It's back to Tomas O'Shea. How much time will be allowed? Kerry need a goal, otherwise they're out. Donegal two points ahead. Donaghy has it, loses it. Donegal have it back. Carol Lacey takes it. They wait for the final whistle. There is the final whistle. And Donegal have beaten Kerry. Fantastic victory by Jim McGuinness and his team. Michael Murphy, the captain. Colin McFadden, who got a goal and six points. The Donegal fans on their feet, enjoying the moment, savouring every second of this. A great quarter-final victory over Kerry. In the end, there were only two points between the teams, and the full-time score is Donegal, one goal and 12 points, Kerry, one goal and 10.